I'm Erin Carroll. I am the aquatic biologist for Upper Thames River Conservation Authority and I do fish, mussel and benthic macroinvertebrate monitoring. So uh, all the different types of critters that live in the creeks and rivers around here. So we are electrofishing today. That means we are fishing with electricity. Uh, this is one of our techniques for monitoring fish. We choose it because it's the least invasive, so uh, we handle the fish for the least amount of time and hopefully they swim away ha happy, healthy. The way it works is we put uh, electricity into the water and there is an anode and cathode on the electrofishing backpack. Uh, because of the biology of the fish and their lateral line, they are drawn to the anode and uh, we quickly sweep them up with our nets. Uh, take a photo and I uh, account of how many we find and then we put them back into the water. We're focusing on Dingman today because there is so much uh, development pressure in the city of London on the south side so we really want to watch to make sure that that development isn't having an impact on this little creek. We did have a pretty good diversity of fish today. We had lots of white sucker, white sucker. Uh, some pumpkin seed, central stone roller, green sunfish, green, sunfish, green side darter, johnny darter. That's a better shot of a creek chub. That's a, the first stone roller. I would like to see more shading on a system like this. So there's a lack of trees. Uh, there's evident erosion on the banks but there has been real efforts to improve the system as well. So we noted that there's riffle that it's been artificially created adding oxygen and uh, the fish are really loving that habitat especially just below the riffles where they're getting extra oxygen and uh, a healthier system. And it was interesting to see all the different species of, of fish that, that are in the waters of, of the, uh, the Thames uh, rivers and its tributaries. Um, I was a little concerned that there was a number of goldfish in here. Uh, we certainly don't want to add to the uh, to the problems that we already have with uh, with carp and that. It's an opportunity for for um, for our club to get involved with uh, with the um, um, Upper Thames um, so that we can um, help out with the um, upkeep of the rivers. I mean, we fish the rivers, and um, and so we'd like to be able to um, help out whenever we can, whether it's uh, e-fishing or tree planting or river maintenance. Um, wherever we can get involved, I think we should, and I think everybody. Um, that's involved with uh, any type of fishing um, um, should volunteer um, and give back. The Upper Thames Fish Database goes back to 1965 and by doing our fish monitoring program we're able to track changes over time. So uh, this is one of the ways that we can early on detect changes in these aquatic system systems and uh, this aquatic monitoring we do because we want to know which areas we need to work to restore. So we're a conservation agency. Uh, things that we can do if we know that the system's degraded is we can plant trees, uh, put in wetlands, and uh, work to restore the aquatic habitat.